Okay, this is the prototype of my new shirt. Um, you can see two panels, obviously uh, one has smaller fonts. Um, they're the exact same physical size. This one has four times the resolution. So this is 6496 and this one is 128, 192. It's actually, they're both three different panels that are together. Uh, those three here are the ones I currently have, run by my ESP32 right here. That's a slightly bigger one that has more flash to have more animated GIFs on board. Also a bit more memory and I can do Wi-Fi with it. So on the other side, obviously it's not run by the ESP32 anymore. You can see a Raspberry Pi 4 here. And you can see that basically it has three different independent channels going into the three different panels and that allows those panels to run at much higher speed than they normally would uh, by using one channel instead of uh, three channels instead of one. Okay, um, now the other interesting thing is you see the exact same code running on my Linux PC and that's what I've been using now with my own Glue library. I can run all my code on PC, develop it in PC, debug it on PC, and then upload it to the Raspberry Pi or the ESP32. It is the exact same code with a few if devs and that's about it. So the development is a lot quicker. Now, all right, this is Wi-Fi, so what I'm gonna use my phone. And when I'm giving it new demos that actually exist on both sides, I'll use a nicely better one here. Let's use Matrix, there we go. So when Matrix is running here, this is rendering Matrix on my phone, and it has a USB cable here that is sending serial to the Raspberry Pi and it says, hey, I'm running demo matrix. Can you please do the same? And that's how they sync up. So I don't have an issue of generating that huge frame buffer and sending it over the wire, which is what other solutions do, because it's just way too many pixels. Um, well, it could be done, but really it's not worth it. Also, the other issue is that every single IO pin is being used on the Raspberry Pi right now uh, to run those panels. So it's not like if I wanted to, it wouldn't work anyway. All right, so now let me send some other interesting demos. Let me go, let's see. I'm running on my PC right now through my serial port, which is also connected to the Raspberry Pi. I can send a remote command, go to 100. There you go. Said so receive 100 on the ESP32, which told 100 to this one. So now they're in sync running adding the GIFs. So some GIFs you can see, um, I picked the same GIF, but they look much better in higher res. So I'm just gonna few, give a demo of those to see uh, yeah, how much nicer the new pixels are. Actually, hold on, wrong command. Let me go back on this one and then synchronize both, there we go. So some like uh, this one just wouldn't work in the lower resolution. So I have a much nicer one here as you can see. This one's also so much nicer. Yeah, the Pulp Fiction one, I didn't even know it was Pulp Fiction in low res until I got the high res version and I recognized John Travolta. Also in the corner, yeah, it doesn't show on the GIF, but I have um, a little counter that shows the refresh rate because the ESP32 cannot refresh as quickly and I can debug some synchronization problems. So yes, it was a lot of work to get the extra pixels, but the result is amazing. And that's another one. And then I have other gifts that are just different altogether because they're not, uh, but yeah, actually those are the same. Those are trans gifts. And now I have complete different gifts. And obviously I have a collection of about a hundred very nice high-res gifs. I'm gonna run through a few quickly just to give you an idea. So definitely looking forward to using that on the dance floor. It's been so long that we've been cooped up at home. I had time to write all this but <laughs> I hope I get to use it soon because really it's been a while. All right, I hope to see you all. I hope you enjoy the work. And if you see me in the dance floor somewhere, come say hi. Talk to you later.